The Yaw VR is a really great motion simulator. However, if you use the Yaw for racing or flight simulators, the cables required to connect power and peripherals will make it very difficult to use the full Yaw range. Today I'm going to show you how I addressed this issue and unlocked the full 360 degree of yaw that is promised by the yaw VR. I'm Brian and this channel focuses on a mix of mixed reality, retro gaming and tutorials and reviews that are related to those. I'll be making use of playlists to make it easier for you to watch what you're interested in and as the audience grows I will break the content up into separate channels. Please subscribe if you find the content interesting as it will really help my channel grow. Okay, first let me show you the finished solution. On this side of the box we can see the 24 volts for the force feedback and access for the Raspberry Pi memory card. Switching to the other side you can see the primary power switch and a Raspberry Pi inside the enclosure with a Wi-Fi antenna and two peripherals plugged in. From this wide shot you can see there is two USB ports at the top of the box and they run to the Vive Tracker and the IMU at the front of the yaw. And then from the Pi, the two peripherals that are plugged in are my Hotas's throttle and stick. This image shows the internal parts. We have a 24 volt lithium ion battery pack, a Raspberry Pi 2B, a 5 volt buck converter for powering the IMU and the Vive Tracker, two 5 volt buck converters in parallel for the Raspberry Pi's power, and then a barrel jack for steering wheel and force feedback, and of course the switch. Into the Raspberry Pi we'll need to plug in the wireless dongle, and also we can connect up to three peripherals. Now you can see the negative wiring all the way through from the power pack to the Raspberry Pi, and now the positive. And then we have two options for connecting the 24 volts power. So I ran mine directly to the battery as such, but if you like, you can also connect it via the switch like this. Now that's done, let me show you the main assembled parts quickly before I install everything into the enclosure and attach to the Yaw VR. I also had to design and print an enclosure for it all. This is in two parts, one for the battery pack and a lid that contains all of the electronics for powering my peripherals. Here's a quick image of the assembled internals including the battery pack. To connect this enclosure to the yaw, I used a center punch to mark out the holes on the backrest of the Pro, then I drilled and tapped them with 4mm bolts. From a fellow Australian comes a piece of software called Virtual Here. Virtual Here allows USB devices to be used remotely over a network just as if they were locally connected. It's a good idea to get this set up on the Pi before you assemble everything. Let me walk you through that process now. First, we're going to need the Raspberry Pi Imager. So you can download this from raspberrypi.org software for your operating system. And once you have that, you can open the program and we want to check, uh, it'll open like this and we want to go to Raspberry Pi OS and select uh, no desktop environment version and then you'll write that to your drive. I don't have one plugged in at the moment. And then from there, once it boots up in your Raspberry Pi, we're going to open the terminal. And when SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi, we need to execute these four commands to install the Virtual Here server and the Wi-Fi driver. When this is all booted up, you can then install the Virtual Here client on your Windows machine, and you'll need to license that so that you can connect to your devices. Now, whenever I start using the Yaw, I switch on the battery box. This powers the IMU and the Vive tracker that I use for motion compensation. If the game I'm playing requires peripherals, then I start the Virtual Here client on the PC before I start the game in VR. And I'm able to play with only the suspended cable for my HMD coming off the bowl. Until Valve makes a wireless index, this is about as close to wireless Nirvana as I think I can get. Thanks for watching. Please click on the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos and have a great day.